Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you from my floor in my craft room. So I am doing how to pack for a crop video today. I've done a little bit of research and watch other fellow YouTubers and got a few good tips, but I definitely wanted to show you my process in going to a crop. Now this is my first time, it is only a day crop. It is not a retreat, even though if you are living in Florida and you know if one is coming, please leave a comment down below because I would love to attend one soon. Anyways, um, I have packed a little bit, so everything's kind of set out in front of me, but I'm going to show you what Tupperwares and things I'm taking and show you how I'm going to load this. Now there are plenty of scrapbook roller, scooter, scooter. <laughs> You know, uh, scrapbooking bags that are on wheels that work very similarly. And I thought about buying one, I honestly did, but for the same price of buying an on carry on size luggage, you can get the same price and almost more storage. Because the, the in my experience, how I decided and like deduced what I was going to use was taking around a 12 by 12 pad and while the perfect scrapbooking bags do fit it perfectly, I kind of figured that that's the only time I would ever be using that bag. And it would be sitting here until I went to another crop. And so I've only gone to one so far. So you know what I mean? So I kind of thought this would work out better. So I've had, you know, this size carry-on. I, I always call it the carry-on suitcase, but I use it on my weekend. Like when I'm going to my parents, you know, that live three hours away. I'll take this real quick because I just don't want to carry a bag and put it over my shoulder. So I bought a new one, though. So I did upgrade myself for it. But it'll get good use. This one's actually quite fun because... It also has a sleeve for the computer right in here. It has another pocket in the front. In the inside as of its own, show you. There are I'm gonna get on my knees a little bit. Okay. There are four pockets on the inside here. There are two huge mesh pockets here. And then this also has like a little secret door where I'm sure you would probably keep like your iron or things you don't want to get wrinkled in here because it has like a little strap down. But when I saw all these compartments in here, I thought this would make a great bag to take on a crop. So how I've laid it out already, um, and things are right next to me, so I'm going to show you what I brought. So if you saw my last video, you know that I put together my own first homemade kit. So I did put it in one of the iris cases. So it has a little tray inside of it and everything. And honestly, folks, look. This fits right in. 12 by 12 box, okay? I also have another 12 by 12 box. Now, this one I keep like my scraps, and I did put a couple other paper collections in here, and a little bit of the leftovers from different kits. So, this is my homemade kit. This is just everything else in case I want to work on anything differently. And that will just fit right on in there, too. And snug as a bug in a rug, okay? You saw previously to um, my kit I got some of the frames my wood veneer are in these photo boxes some Maggie Holmes confetti and so instead of taking them out of this this fits right up top of the suitcase perfectly okay as so so I get 12 by 12 and then all your ephemera on top then I also picked out my alphas okay so a few different fonts some tiny word stickers Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. So these are all my Alphas, and I thought these could fit snugly, snugly, right back here. Okay, so right here in that little spot where I thought it could be like just your iron clothes, and it doesn't have to be. Okay. Then I also have the rest of my stickers, so just puffy stickers. Tiny word stickers, some enamel dots, some mamby ones, big old enamel dots. So all of these can fit in one into the mesh pockets down below. So if you're taking notes, <laughs> do know that you have to obviously pack your 12 by 12s your kits, some ephemera, some wood veneer if you want to, your selection of stickers, your selection of alphas. And then I also do a lot of mixed media if you follow my channel. So I am bringing a small collection of stamps that I usually go for. So nothing really um, out of the ordinary, but you know, a few stamp pads. I have, what is it, like nine sets right here to go. One's even an alpha, but they fit perfectly in here too. 
and look at that. So you guys, there's my bag filled in a carry-on size suitcase, okay? Now it's just a, a tip, you don't have to do this, you don't, you can totally buy those designated um, scrapbooking ones, perfectly doable, I would too. I just didn't want to have a bag with one purpose for me just yet, okay? Then um, in the front, what was I doing? Oh, I, I know I did. I'm bringing my selfie stick. Now I am meeting a fellow scrapbooker out there on this crop, so it'll be fun. And come on folks, we're scrapbookers. Of course we're gonna take pictures because we're gonna wanna scrap them later. So I am doing that in here. I'm not bringing um, my, cam oh, my camera, my computer on this uh, trip. So I'm gonna leave the computer sleeve still empty. I'm not gonna really fill up anything. And then I am also still bringing my cuddle bug for this um, crop. So I do have my dies packed somewhere else, but I just wanna take the plates to my cuddle bug, my favorite embossing folders, and that's all that's here. But that'll fit right in the front of this pocket. No problem. So again, just a tip if you want to take a carry-on size suitcase for your uh, scrapbooking needs for a crop or a retreat. You could probably fit enough. I forgot to say, I also have an extension cord. I was, um, it was a good point once in a while. If you have your heat gun and you don't have a power source next to you, you may need this. So I did want to pack this into um, my suitcase as well. That was that. <laughs> I was also told that sometimes you may want to take a break from doing layouts. So I'm also bringing my art journal um, along for the trip. Now, it's just to still do artsy stuff without having to do a layout. So I do, you know, have half pages done and such in here, things of that nature. So I will be bringing my art journal page if I wanted to take a break from doing my 12 by 12 layouts. Last but not least, I did purchase, it doesn't have a name. It's by, it's by Homes with a Z, and it's a latch container. Now, I picked this up at Walmart like yesterday, and it's tall enough to fit your mist standing up. So I thought this was perfect. So this, in essence, just has my mist, my ink pads, and embossing powder. So pretty much my mixed media stuff, I consider. So I did select a few ink pads, you know, of the colors I wanted to use. I did also grab my Versamark to do heat embossing. Okay, so Versamark. I only am bringing the clear embossing powder, clear white, and I think a navy to go with my kit. And then other than that, I filled it with all of my mists. So I have Dilutions, Lindy Stamp Gang, I have Heidi Shine, Heidi Shine, if you're watching, well, you know that, um, Heidi Swap Color Shine, and then I also have, I think, oh yeah, the Tim Holtz Distress Stains as well. So that is all that is in this kit, or this Tupperware, and like I said, they fit the mist completely standing up, because I was worried about traveling with them if they tip over, you know, things like that, so I didn't want to worry, so this one just fit enough, and don't get me wrong, I got the longer one, this is bigger than 12 um, inches across, they did have one that was half the size, <laughs> automatically when I was at the store though, I was like, eh, let me take the bigger one, because I know I'll probably fit, uh, fill the first one, uh, the half size one, very quickly, so, <laughs> so that is my mist and mixed media okay so I do have my cuddle bug on the side and I have my like reusable bags to pull one of my albums from here to pack as well and I did I will be bringing extra uh, sleeve protectors and I will be doing a mix I believe of project life as well as 12 by 12 layouts so I made sure in my album um, that's behind here I don't have to show you that part um, I have blank sleeves in order to put my projects in them when they're done so that's another tip as well and then I have last but not least I'll turn the camera angle around but I am filling my craftsman 12 inch what is this called a toolbox or so I hauled this um, recently, but I am going to use this for all of my essentials. So I'm going to show you all of that in a little bit of a detail and see how much fits because I did buy extra Tupperware like this one um, to fit in what I think would be my big jars of like gesso and modeling paste and paints and my paper trimmer and stuff. But we'll see how much fits in here because I haven't tested it out yet. So I will turn the camera angle around and I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Okay, we're back here. I'm not gonna be in the angle for this, but you will see my dazzly hand as I pack up my Craftsman tool. I have all my essentials laid out in essence, so I'm just gonna go over it with you on, and where I put it. 
If you have a pen and paper to take notes, I would suggest you do that because I'm definitely, I got a lot, I got a lot, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so first we'll start off with scissors. Um, I'm always gonna bring my long little paper cutter scissors, we'll put those right on the side. And then I'll bring a few fussy cutting scissors. I marked a few of my um, tools with some, this like mint green floral washi tape. That way if I lend it to someone, I know I'll get it back or if they somehow walk away, you'll be able to tell who's, whose is whose, right? Whose is whose? I bring my tiny attacher, again with some washi tape right, layer, right labeling on it, okay? Then we have all of my palette knives. So I'm bringing palette knives as well as a few paint brushes. So I'll show you my palette knives. Palette knives are essential for making, working with gesso as well as stencils and your modeling paste. So we do have a few different uh, sizes. Again, all marked with the washi tape. Those will be here. Three paint brushes will be just fine. One I use usually for like uh, my matte gel medium and then two watercolor brushes for all of my paint splatter that I do. Again, marked off with the washi tape so that I know which ones were mine. I have quick dry adhesive from Scotch and then a fine liner bottle of glue. So this is my liquid glue, little area. My next compartment I'll use for pens. So I'm bringing two Sharpie. Um, paint pens. I'm bringing two Stabilo pencils, the all pencils in black and in white. I'm bringing a pit pen by Faber Castell, a white jelly roll, a black Sharpie, a food aid pen. This one writes on plastic too. Um, a mint, well, this one shouldn't be here, a Stadler pen, a Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Pipe. This one works on um, all surfaces, and then a Micron. See all of my cute, cute little washi there? You see it, you see it. Um, my adhesive, I am bringing my ATG gun. This is my ride or die, so this will get a little carry it ride right there. I'll have backup to my ATG gun. I'll put this on the side. Double sided tape. I'll bring Elmer's glue and the Tombow mono liquid glue. I'll put these on the side as well. And then some smaller adhesive gun. I like doing these when I'm doing a lot of like, um, I always say like fussy work. So we'll have a few of these inside here. I've got a gift card to also work well with gesso to scrape a very thin layer. This one I snagged up from Dunkin' Donuts. I've printed my photos. That was always a funny thing. I'll probably miss something essential, but I did print out my photos and you can see my one with Kobe right there. So that'll be going for a ride. Acrylic blocks in a couple sizes to do my stamping with as everything falls. Okay. Roller date stamps. One is by Dear Lizzie and one is by Heidi Swap. My favorite punches, the like a half inch um, heart. Can you see that? The heart one. And my baby, baby heart and a baby star. I love these so much. I always usually do it with glitter paper as accents. Those are my absolute favorite. I poured some gesso into a white little container to go. Ranger texture paste. So we'll put these in here. Gel medium by Dana Wakely and golden light modeling paste. This is all my mixed media stuff as everything falls. Packing is hard. <laughs> We have um, gel matte medium and artist loft iridescent medium and more modeling paste. You never know how much modeling paste you may need. Okay, that's what we got so far. Some essentials. We got baby wipes for easy cleanup. My Ranger mat is inside a paper towel roll so that it doesn't get squished and too damaged. I have paper towels. Essentials. Good old fashioned, <laughs> inexpensive watercolor set. I've picked out stencils and put them in a zippy bag that I want to use so you can't bring modeling paste without having stencils. Okay. My paper trimmer will also go in the very back of this. You have my, t I have my T-square ruler. 
my heat gun all wrapped up ready to go and the dies that I will be using so it's like the tags my heart and the Maggie Holmes floral that I absolutely love and then I have some packaging already cut up so I keep the packaging to all stickers that I get and die cut packs and so I just make into tiny squares I'll probably cut these up more but you can't do the mixed media I love with watercolors and gelatos and such without some packaging all right and then in the back I already I already heard it before I started filming there are two little loops that I already stuck on some washi tape so just a few colors some basic ones and it just velcro and I slip them on there so that's everything in my craftsman now this will probably just sit on my desk right next to me in front of me and have everything at my little beckoning call which I kind of love about this now you could get once again those traditional tool totes that come um, with your scrapbooking bag but I love this it's like a really hard sturdy bag I know it doesn't have big straps but you hold it right in the middle and it's working out pretty good so yeah I'm loving it loving it did it get pretty tall do you see it it's a little tall, but you'll, you know, I said, I'll put that on my desk. So, yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by, everyone. I hope you got a good couple tips from watching me pack for my crop. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next video, I'm going to do the little heart signal. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.